please join me in giving a very warm welcome to President Marsh Yuna. about the circumstances on, on campus. We're here in large part, or at least in part, because in recent years and in recent months, you see Irvine and other campuses, and I want to emphasize that if you try to find a campus in America where these are not issues, they may not be as salient as UCI, but they're there, uh, have been roiled by anti-Israel programs hosted by Muslim student groups. And earlier, of course, uh, protesters disrupted the speech of Israeli Ambassador Michael Warren. In subsequent weeks, sub several of our campuses saw incidents of intolerance and hate speech that prompted not only uh, distress and introspection, but also some action. The student group interrupted the speech of Ambassador Warren at UC Irvine last February. There were serious consequences. I had probably hundreds of letters only me that there was a constitutional right to drown out the ambassador Warren. And I wrote back and said, not any constitution I've read. There is no right to drown out another speaker. That crosses the line. In fact, it's an ultimate form, I think, of totalitarianism. That not only you're entitled to your point of view, you're entitled to silence all the people that you don't like what they have to say. And after due process, several individuals were found to violate the rule, the student group was suspended, personally apologize to Ambassador Orr. Some of these groups may be reforming. I understand that. And we will enforce our rules with respect to all of these groups. No matter how hard you work, no matter how many students of goodwill you have, no matter how effective the Jewish community in Orange County, no matter how active the students, it only takes 20 blue picks and um, bigots on campus to really upset everyone. And to gather the media attention and uh, to create a very difficult situation. It's something that I the First Amendment bars us on public university campuses from censoring individuals on the basis of the content of their speech, no matter how horrific it is. And I just want to say, I do condemn the anti-Israel speech. I condemn the insults to our students, and they are insults. I condemn the unbalanced programs. And I condemn the disruption of Ambassador Orrin's speech. And I condemn all the anti-Semitic utterance that occurred on the campuses. I've said that before. I'm saying it now. I've said it in writing. And I'll do it again. Uh, you know, the campuses are a place where there's a good marketplace of ideas. And if you have a marketplace of ideas and you have a thousand flowers growing, there are bound to be some real weeds out there. And there have been some weeds at UCI. And I just want to say, I do condemn the anti speech. I condemn the insults to our students, and they are insults. I condemn the unbalanced programs, and I condemn the disruption of Ambassador Orrin's speech, and I condemn all the anti-Semitic utter and occurred on the campuses. I've said that before, I'm saying it now, I've said it in writing, and I'll do it again. 